I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace over Christ all of you, peace about your friends and let us have some good time together. As you see in the title we have a very important topic, I hope today we will think about it carefully. You know Muslims they claim that they have God and their God is unique and I have to agree, their God is very unique. Uh, you know every one of us have a uniqueness right, I mean even scientists prove uh, that's your fingerprint is nothing like it in the whole world even your brother or your sister even your twin does not have the same fingerprint so unique is not really a big deal but uh, the one unique is kind of uh, evil sickness is different story uh, if you see the title here i mean i'm not a doctor and this is what the scientific or the most close scientific description for Allah symptoms is close to I found after searching in the internet. Otherwise, I'm not a professional in psychology and I'm not a doctor. Uh, but uh, very easy study, and you know we will show you the reference and the proofs. And actually, I'm going to open my Skype in case there is any Muslim he can oppose us and prove us wrong. But I doubt it. Because no Muslim really can defeat our proofs that his God is suffering from mental illness. You know, mental illness, <clears throat> it's not like, I mean, if, if somebody have a mental illness, we feel sorry for him, we pray for him, we don't look at him down, you know, because it's not his fault. But here we are talking about someone supposed to be his God. You know, someone, he, he, he claimed to be God, he is God. And this God have a, a character drawn by a prophet, supposedly, and Muhammad is the prophet who describe his God for us. Otherwise, we do not know him, you know, uh, as much as the one who claim he is sent by him. And the one who sent him, obviously, uh, you know, Allah, according to Muhammad, uh, he told Muhammad about himself and he told him to tell us what he is about, what he like, what he don't like, what he love, what he hate, etc. information. So if we ask Muslims why Allah created us, you will see every single Muslim he give you a different answer. And the reason for that, because Muslims themselves do not know. If there is any Muslim he think he knew, please let me know, just text me, and I will be happy. Uh, you know, to call you immediately and hear you. But I challenge any Muslim to answer us. If we go in the Quran, the, okay, the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find verses answering this question directly. Even though I searched on YouTube, I found a video of Yasser Qadi, I found a video of, uh, uh, I mean, there's many videos. None of them really answer the question when the question is in the Quran. Like if I go right now, let me do this. If I go right now in YouTube 
Then I search uh, why Allah created us and try to find a Muslim really he can give us the answer. You will see that Yasser Qadi, he start blah, 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 blah. And the conclusion is nobody knows. You know? It is just a blah, 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 blah. There is no answer. And you ask yourself why they don't even read their book. So this is a guy who claimed that he have a PhD in Islam and he claimed to be a sheikh. And the Muslim, they give him interview. And he is the same guy who said the truth that the Quran, is, you know, there's a hole in narratives. And actually the whole, the whole Islam is a hole. And it's not only the narrative. There's no narrative in the narrative. But if we ask him why Allah created us, look what he will say. Get us to worship him. This question was asked by the angels themselves. The Quran tells us that the angels said, Oh Allah, why would you create a creation that's sinful, doing all of this and that, uh, you know, shedding blood, uh, when here we are worshipping you and praising you. And Allah Azza wa Jal did not rationalize. Allah did not attempt to explain. Allah simply said, I know what you do not know. I know. In fact, when Allah, he said that, you know, he proved that he did not know anything because the angels, they were right. And Allah, not only he said to them, I know what you do know not. He said to them, tell me the names of those things. If you are truthful, which means he accused them to be a bunch of liars. And here, yes, Qadi will keep going, keep going, keep going, but he will say nothing. But if we go to the Quran, we will find the verse very easy, very fast, getting them busted. So in the Quran, it says, we switch to Arabic. Start typing English again. We will find the following. It is. We keep typing in the wrong language. Oh boy. Now, uh, if you go in the Quran, you will find a very, very easy answer. Chapter 51, verse number 56. It says, And Allah created not the jinn and the human, except they should worship him. There is no alone. All, all, anything you see here, this is just a, you know. And actually, there is no word Allah too. It says, And وَمَا uh, خَلَقْتُ And I created not the, the, the human and the genie, except to worship me. So what is the purpose of the creation? Is to worship Allah. And here we ask ourselves the first question. Allah is now, before he created the universe. He have a plan and he needed something. He needed worshipers. Allah is not happy. So he decided to create a creation and he will force this creation to worship him. And that will make him feel better. A Muslim might say to you, this is a lie, this is not the reason. Yes, the verse says to you, I created the jinn and the human to worship me, but not because Allah, he need the worshipers. Not because Allah feeling lonely. Not, Allah, not because Allah is suffering from uh, NBD, as we showed you in the title. Not because he is a selfish person. He is mentally ill. He likes to use and abuse. And not, not that reason. Okay, so what is the reason? He would say, it says to you to worship me. Why he need worshippers? Is Allah is happy without worshippers? If we go in the Bible, we'll see, for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. So the purpose of the whole world to exist is God loving the world. He wanted to share his glory with us. He wanted to share his kingdom with us. And this is why we as a Christians, when we pray, we see our father out of heaven. We are not just the creators for, uh, sorry, cre uh, creation for him. We are just uh, like childrens 
they are leveled from being just a creatures like you know what the difference between the ant and the human for God? Nothing really. But God, He created a human, and He said in the Bible, in the Old Testament, He created Adam in His image. And that is showing you how much God He leveled us above other creatures. He gave us His image. God, not only He gave us His image, he gave us even the nature of his own son. So this God, he is not putting us down. The God, our God, our Father. But this God in front of us, Aka Allah, he is a mentally ill person and he need worshippers. Now, Allah, not only he need worshippers, he is desperate to have sinners. He is desperate to have sinners. If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. And that will get Muhammad really busted and his God. The Messenger of Allah, he is taking an oath, swearing. He said, Muhammad, taqa Allah. Remember, Muhammad, when he speaks supposedly, Allah is speaking. Just take it as it is. So he said, swearing by Allah, by the one whose hand is my soul, if you were you not to commit sin, Allah would replace you with people who would commit sin and then seek forgiveness from Allah. So look what happened here. And this is like a bomb. You know, explosion, big explosion in the face of this cult. This is destroy everything the Muslim claim. Allah is merciful. Allah is Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, the mercy of Allah. Where is mercy? Dude, look at him. This guy, if you don't even commit sin, he will kill you. Is that what the merciful do? What kind of a merciful he get upset if you do obey him? What is the mercy purpose? If I don't, imagine you have, you have a son. He's so good to you. You know? He obey you. He respect you. He never say a rude word to you. And because of that, you decide to kill him. Because you need a son who do commit sin every day, which means disobey you every day, and then at the end of the day, he bowed down and says, please God, Father, forgive me. That's mental illness. That is mental illness. If we go and check the symptoms of the disease we mentioned to you, we will find that those symptoms is about a, per a person who think highly of himself. He looked down at others. Actually, uh, you know, uh, one of the admins, he was posting a good link. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Or I will search, doesn't matter really. Uh, it's really crazy uh, cult. Let us see if we can find the symptoms. And you will see exactly, you will understand then this hadith perfectly. I just search in Google. All right. Nothing special. You can do the same. 
self-importance, lives in fantasy, world that support delusion, need constant praise and, administra and ad admiration. Do you see what I'm talking about? He cannot. He cannot. This is the fuel he need. If he don't have a continued praise and admiration, he is a very unhappy creature. Let us see if we can find a better. This is just the, the, the title in Google. Let us see if we can find a better website so we can read together. The symptoms of this disease have an exaggerated sense of self-importance. Allah, he compare himself to Baal. Is that correct? Did we see that Allah, he says, he is the best of the creators? You ask yourself, why does God, he need to say he is the best of the creators if he is the only creator? I mean, this is even stupid claim. So Allah wanted to tell us that I am the best of the creators. He want to show off. And how he have to show off? Suddenly he decided to create creators in order to be the best of the creators. But that means you're not God. So the stupidity of this mental illness fabricated God that because he need to excel himself, he have to create someone like him, but not equal. So he come with the idea that he is the best of the creators. Then you ask the Muslims, if there is other creator, they will say no. So why are Allah saying he is the best of the creators? They say to you, don't you create a bicycle? Uh, uh, listen, don't be silly and stupid. We are talking about creators. If Allah he is saying he is the best of the creators, that means he is a creator of the bicycle too. I mean, the silliness of the Muhammadan trying to defend Islam, duct tape, you know, the duct tape answers. Those, they will work with somebody who have low IQ. It doesn't matter what the creator he is creating. When Allah, he says he is the best of the creators, it means he is a creator like them. So if you say it's a bicycle, so Allah made a bicycle. If you say a cartoon, that's me Allah making cartoon. Because he is the best of those between those who make cartoons. So they try to fix it, but because they are slow and low IQ, they make it more horrible. But their answer can work, but somebody is naive, somebody is slow, somebody don't have really a very good function in the brain. So Allah, he needed to level himself or elevate himself, so he created the creators, and even Allah, he go more crazy by you know, describing or comparing himself to Baal. Allah wanted to show us that he is better, he is the best, how? He says, are you going to cry for Baal and Allah is the best of the creators? But that's mean Baal is a creator too. Because if you say that he is the best compared to Baal, that's mean Baal is a creator. And what is that, what is the comparison is about? It's about creators. It's not about dancers. Like he didn't say I'm the best of dancers. He didn't say I'm the best of uh, swimmers. He did not say I'm the best of a flying. He said, I'm the best of the creators. But that destroy everything Islam stands for. They claim that Allah is the only creator. So if Allah is exaggerating, saying things which is not a true to level himself or to elevate him th himself, that's exactly the symptoms we are talking about. The symptom is so clear. Look what it says here. This person, person, he exaggerate. He need a constant praising, excessive admir admiration uh, to be recognized, to be superior, even without achievement. Like, you know, when the Muslim, they say to us, Allah is the creator, how you know that Allah created anything? The Quran says that Jesus, he created from the mother bird by the leaf of Allah. Prove it. Prove that 
if Jesus did that, he got the power from Allah. I can say, Allah, I, I created, I am, it's me. It's me, not Allah. I mean, it's silly, it's stupid. It's just a book written by a person, given to us, and there's no witnesses for anything. And then you have to take it as it is. And then when you read it, we see how silly it is, because there's no way God, who is the only creator, and he says, I am the one who created the heaven and the earth, and what between them? And then he says, I'm the best of the creators. So that is a fraud, that's a lie, and that is an exaggeration for a person trying to achieve to be superior without achievement. All the symptoms in front of us, they fit perfectly by the description of the so God called Allah. As an example, if we ask the Muslims how Allah and why Allah, he keeps saying we. We. The Muslim, they say, actually, let me see if I can find the video because that will make it more funny. Give me a second. Why Allah, he say we? It would be answer, it would be nicer if we hear it from a Muslim. So we can love better. Huh. This is this is uh, Zakir Naik Zakura is going to tell you why Allah He used the word we. Listen and love. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Adiya Anwar. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala created everything. Some verses we created, we prepared, prepared like this. Why plural is coming? The brothers posed the question that why has the word we used in the Quran for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is it more than one? Brother, we in Arabic, the two types. One is we for plural, one is royal plural. Royal plural. Uh -huh. Like for example, if you know the Rajiv Gandhi, how you to speak, you to say, hum dekhna chate hai, hum. That hum was not plural, it was singular. It's a royal plural, it's called. The so same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some places use this I, some places use this V. The V in Arabic does not indicate plurality. It means... Hey, my friend, by the way, this guy, he does not know Arabic. He's saying V. In Arabic, we don't have the letter V at all. He's talking about we, idiot. So, and he said in Arabic, we have a plural. Uh, doesn't mean it is plural. That's, that's false. You know, nahnu, nahnu mean we, many, you know. You can use it in any sentence. So I say, who ate the food? You say, we. We mean a group, you know, not one. So, but anyway, so now he is saying that it's a royalty, a royal answer by saying we, but that's mean Allah is not satisfied with being I. He is using a language to make himself elevated. And that is a plural word because he don't feel satisfied with I. He prefer we. Indicate plurality. It means royal plural. Actually, it is singular. So we, when it says we have created you, it means singular Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Quran clearly states in Surah Ikhlas chapter 112. So as you see, Allah is trying to be like a royal, like a king, who say we. But you know, in the case of the king, when he say we, he is speaking in the name of the nobles too. This is how he got his authority. If you, if you listen to different uh, Muslim sheikh, you will see different answer. Brother Ibrahim from Th South Africa is asking about why Allah is referring to himself as we in the Quran. Allah Azza wa Jal, if you read the Quran, refers to himself as I or refers to himself with the pronoun we. And this is a well-known way in Arabic. All Arabs know this, uh -huh. that in order to glorify someone or when someone is in a prestigious place, he refers to himself that we. So the king or the queen Did you see? could say that we, the queen of England, have decided to do this and that. Mm. We, the king of 
so and so want to establish this and that. So when he says we as a king, he's not referring to the government, he's not referring to his family, he is referring to himself as the king. See? So Allah, he is treating himself like any king in the earth. The king, he feel himself, he want to give himself an extra, let us say, the superior position from others. So he add words, or he use words, praising himself. And that is showing you that Allah, the oneness God, is not satisfied with him being oneness. He is satisfied with the plural because it's more majestic. When a Muslim he says, and we heard him saying that this is because like a king saying we, well, that's mean Allah is not really satisfied with himself being I. He don't feel confident enough. So he think by adding a word before his name, it make him more respected. <laughs> It's in front of you. And we just heard the Muslims explaining, otherwise why Allah want to use we, if he is one? You know, the Christian, the Christian God, we as a Christian, we believe in the Trinity, right? Okay. So that's mean the Trinity, it makes more sense and more respect to God than being speaking of God as just one individual. Because as you see, Allah himself, he escaped from the I to the we, because the we is higher. The we is better. Otherwise, why Allah is skipping to we? We heard the answer. So Allah, he created the human and the genie, which is, there is no proof of their existence. Genie is coming from stories from India and from the Persian. And Muhammad, he copied everything. Actually, there's a story of Muhammad being rided by the genie. The genie did ride Muhammad like a donkey. And I challenged a Muslim to say to me, this is a lie, I can't show the reference. And I can force you to read it, if you challenge me. Uh, in Arabic, it says, actually, Rakibu. They did ride him. They did ride him. And he claimed that they are black genie. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, so when when Allah he say we, he is trying to elevate himself. He don't feel confident. Otherwise, if you are the true God, who care for a word before your name? I mean, you are the creator for. What are you worried about? Who is your competition? You know, imagine, and like, I don't want you to imagine you are God, but maybe you think about it for a second. You are the one who created everything. And now you need the word we to make yourself elevated. <laughs> How silly. <laughs> it's like, you know, a guy, he owned the, the whole palace and everything in the palace. Everything in the palace is owned by him. Hmm? And then he said to himself, I don't feel good. I'm not rich enough. I need something next to my name to make people see I'm really rich. So if I say I own, doesn't really make too much powerful meaning. If we say, I, we own, that will make them fear me. It is we. I'm not alone. You know, like you fight one, you fight all. So this person, Allah, suffering from mental illness. And I remember, I believe Allah doesn't exist. But Muhammad, the way he characterized, I'm not using the word correct word, the way he cartoonized 
cartoonize. What kind of English this English is? He made a cartoon god, and this cartoon god is funny, is silly, is stupid. So when he say that if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. He showed us that the God of Islam is the opposite of the God of the Christians. Remember Muhammad, he stole the story of Noah from the Bible. But the story of Noah is about people who commit sin. Not because they are not committing sin, but look what Allah is saying here, Aka Muhammad. You need to commit sin, otherwise you will be destroyed. For Allah created you for a reason. You need to ask for burden and forgiveness. And if you don't commit sin, that's mean the plan of Allah is not working. And that's mean Allah is not happy. And that's mean the purpose of your creation is screwed. And as you see, all of this is sahih. So the Muslim, they cannot say this is weak and you know this garbage. They say to us always. Anything is an embarrassment, anything is stupid, anything is uh, poo-poo, they say right away, we reject it, it's not true. But we have the Quran, the Quran confirmed that Allah created mankind and genie to worship him. We have this hadith confirmed that the reason for your existence, <laughs> it's as the Quran says, you need worshippers, and the worshippers mean sinners who ask for forgiveness. Not only just worshippers. They don't want people who praise him. They want people who commit sin. You feel guilty. So he, they go, are going to beg him, not just pray for him. He don't want just the people who pray. He want people who beg for forgiveness. And that is a clear sign of this disease. He have exaggerate self importance. And how he do that? I'm going to create to myself a creation. The purpose of this creation is to worship me, and they should do sin. Because then it's not logical to ask them to beg for, for my forgiveness. So he is a, he's a stupid and a smart at the same time. He's asking himself, well, if I create them, and what about if they did not commit sin, what I would do? Hmm? Well, I would destroy them. Because this is not the reason I created them. I don't want people just to worship me. I want them to worship me by begging me, not by praying to me. The angel worship Allah. Do you Muslims believe the angels commit sin? Actually, the Quran make it clear that angels commit sin. Even Muslims, they claim they are not committing sin. The Muslims claim that the Quran say clearly that they obey Allah. But the story Yasir Qadi, he mentioned, proving that the angels does not obey Allah. Actually, they accuse him to be stupid. And Allah accused them to be liars. <clears throat> if we go in the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 30, the chapter of the, the Hindu chapter, the cow chapter, it says, and the funny one, the Muslim, this is, and remember, remember, I mean, why they were there? <laughs> Like, do you remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was there too, you know? Yeah, I was. <laughs> do you remember, brother? Why they were there? Okay. Remember when your Lord said to the angels, Verily I'm going to place, between two bracket a mankind, generation after generation on earth. What generation after generation? But what? What is that? I mean, anyone understand that? I mean, you see, I'm an Arab. Arabic is my first language. And this is the most stupid Arabic ever. 
So, inni ja'irun fil ardi khalifa. Khalifa, you know, caliphate, the word khalifa is caliphate, you know, caliphate? But caliphate means is the one who inherit. So, like Muhammad, he died, the one after him is called caliphate because simply inherit the position of Muhammad. So, you can't be caliphate unless there's one like you before you. So, the verse here in the Quran is really stupid. Or Allah is trying to say to us, before Muhammad, there was a creation. Before, sorry, Adam, there was a creation. And this creation, I destroy. And I'm going to create someone to inherit those previous ones. So here it says, I'm going to create a caliphate, which means to inherit the previous generation. That's why the word generation here is coming. They said, will you place their end? Those who will make mischievement their end and shed blood? While we glorify you and praise and thanks you? Above all, uh, you know, etc. And then Allah, he said to them, I know what you know not, which means you're stupid. And then Allah, you see, Allah here, he got hurt. Allah, he got hurt. So Allah, he decided to prove that they are really a bunch of liars. He decided to taught Adam all the names. The Bible speaks about God teaching Adam the names of things, which means giving him the knowledge, basic knowledge. This is not about names and exam and test. But here the story is different. So uh, uh, Allah, he taught Adam the names, and then he taught the angels. Well, okay, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Do you see truthful? The Muslims, they claim that angels are people who commit no sin. Or let us say creatures who commit no sin. But how you can say such a thing when the Quran is saying, Allah, he accused the, the angels are not to be truthful, which means they are liars. Lying is a sin. The opposite of the truthful is liars or untruthful. As simple as that. And then they say to him, glory to you, how we know. We don't have knowledge except what, so they fail in the, in the exam, so they are truthful. And then he said to Adam to tell them the names. And then Allah decided to make them, he punished them by ordering them to bow down to Adam. So the Muslim, when they say that angels are really creatures who commit no sin, that is a joke. Because the Quran confirmed that they are sinners. Even though that the Quran in different verses say the opposite, say that the angels, they don't commit sin. As an example, the Quran says, they, they fear Allah. In the chapter of uh, the bees, I think verse number 50 or 51. So they fear Allah and they do their his orders. But still doesn't matter if they are accused by Allah that they commit sin by lying and they question Allah. I mean, isn't, isn't it this is a sin? Isn't it a sin by itself to question the, the, the IQ of God? The decision of God? They said to him, are you going to create? How somebody is a creator being questioned by the creation? Isn't it this is a sin? Are you going to create? You see, I say that to somebody who is my friend, or my son, or my brother, or my sister, or my wife, or etc. Somebody, I, uh, but I can't say that to uh, somebody. Imagine if you are uh, speaking to a king, especially in old days. How are you going to do that? He will kill you. <laughs> they will cut your head before even you, you open your mouth. So, uh, the Quran in chapter 16, verse number 50 says that they fear their Lord above them. And they do his command, but that will not change anything. And they fear not their Lord, because if they fear their Lord, they will not question their Lord. A person who he fear, his Lord, he will never dare to question a decision of the Lord. So, as you see the Quran, and actually the Quran says that if this is a book made by the other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction, and this is a clear contradiction too. 
Because a person who fear God don't question God. You question God if you think you are elevated and you have rights. You're like him, maybe. Even a crown prince don't dare to question the, the king decision. Because the king, he can't take him from being the crown prince. It's a decision of the king to make you crown prince or not. So here you see the stupidity of this cult. And Muhammad is really exposing the nature, the mental illness of this God, that he is self-esteem person. He have an echo, ego, whatever you call it. He worship himself. He prays himself. If you go from the beginning of the Quran, you will see Allah right away start praising himself. If I go right now to chapter number one, I mean, isn't it this is what the symptoms we are talking about? In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent, most merciful. The Christian, when they pray, they say, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Muhammad, he noticed that Allah, if he say in the name of Allah alone, it doesn't make equal balance. I have to compete. They have the Trinity. I have to bring my Trinity. So in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. But who is talking? Allah. So how Allah says in the name of Allah? When the Christian, they pray, they say in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they are not God who is talking. This is me as a human. Starting my act or prayer saying in the name of the, of, of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, it's not God saying in the name of the Son. He's not saying that. And then Dr. Wee says, oh, the priest, thanks to Allah. But Allah is saying that. Why Allah need to say such a thing? This is the act of worshippers. This is the act of worship. If we go back to the symptoms, you will see this is exactly have an exaggerated sense of self-importance. It's not the worshippers are you know, praising him, it is him praising himself. This guy, he don't stop praising himself, thanking him. He is even thanking himself. Thank you, Allah. Who is talking, Allah? Why Allah need to say thanks to Allah? If Allah is the same Allah. This is a person speaking to himself in the mirror. He worship himself. He exaggerate about how important he is. He is suffering from mental illness. You see, many humans, they suffer some. I mean, there's a huge number actually. And the suffering can be different, the disorder. Uh, like, you know, you go in the, you, you notice that in the airport. You go in the airport, like I'm talking about the main, you know, toilet rooms. You go in the airport, you will see the guy next to you speaking in his bathroom, in his, uh, you know, his peen, in his, you know, his talk talking. The other guy in the left is talking. There's many people do that. But some people, they think loud. They are not really mentally ill. They are thinking loud. But there are some people, they talk to themselves. But here, the purpose of talking to yourself is to exaggerate about yourself. Allah decided to send a message to us from himself saying, all thanks to Allah. What about saying, well, you, you know, I am your God who created you. What is your response to me? Then the followers, they will say, we worship you, God. We praise you, God. Thank you, God. But all thanks to Allah. Who is talking Muslims? Allah. Allah is saying all thanks to Allah. And then Allah, he repeat the same just word he just said. Look, I mean, how silly. Imagine you write a letter, you repeat the same words again. You just said that. Why you are you repeating it? And then this Allah, he want to tell you that he is the owner of the judgment day. But isn't it this is all the news? Why do you need to repeat that over and over and over? 
Isn't it true in the Quran you say that Allah, you, are, you are Allah and you are going to insert in the anus of those who disbelieve in you a chain? Why we keep repeating? Until now, we don't have any Muslim. Let us see. I think there's somebody who tried. Uh, somebody called himself Emmanuel. That means he is not a Muslim. Uh, <laughs> I don't see anyone is a Muslim until now. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't see any Muslim. Anyone, any Muslim have an answer for what you are saying and with the proven reference? This God, he will destroy you, my friend, if you don't commit sin and ask for forgiveness. He's mentally ill. You know, a healthy God, he should be happy to see that he created creatures who commit no sin. They are obeying him. You know, committing sin means disobedience. So how in the world does God he like those who they are disobedient? It's like this God he's saying, I like bad boys. And all what he wants from those, those bad boys, be bad and ask for forgiveness. That's all. So how this is can be God and how that can be godly? I'm not going to keep you long. As you see, the Muslim don't dare to call me. And they don't have answers. And they are ashamed of their God. And obviously their God is silly. He speaks to himself. He calls himself we. He is not self-satisfied with his name, I. He prays himself. He, uh, he says he say thank, thanks to himself. And then Allah is not even sure if he is going to forgive sin or not. Like, if you go in the Quran as an example, in this verse, different verse, uh, where Allah, he said, may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. What kind of God this God is? May Allah forgive your sin. Allah here is not aware that he is Allah. <laughs> You see, there is some, some kind of disease too, or illness, where a person, he think he is two or three person. So now he is, Allah is the other person. Who is this person? Allah now is not the creator, he is uh, Muhammad. So Allah, he says, may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. But who, but you are, but you are Allah. Why Allah making a wish to himself? Isn't it, this is a clear sign of mental illness? Imagine you have a husband. You ask him, why you don't go to work? You know, we need someone, you need to make money. He says, may I, may, may I go to work? What the heck? What do you mean, may you go? You no, know, no, may I go to work? They say you have a name, is a husband, his name is, uh, 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 Joseph, you know, or Jack. Uh, hey, Jack, why you don't go to work? Okay, may Jack go to work. But you are Jack. And now this is an answer of a jackass. So all the proofs lead us to one direction, that Allah is a heavy sleeper. He is the kind of a God. He go to the bathroom he pee and then he come back to the bedroom and then he asked his wife do the door of the bathroom door when we open it the light come on by itself then the wife she will say no honey this is the refrigerator so this god he pee in the refrigerator he think that he is still not peeing in the refrigerator 
He thinks that he is still God. He thinks that he is still being God by saying, May God forgive your sin, that you are God. And all thanks to God, that you are God. And all praise to uh, Allah, but you are Allah. And thanks to Allah, you are thinking yourself. So the heavy sleeper God, Allah, does not fit to be God, does not fit even to be a cartoon. How such a silly person can be even considered to be God for a second? And that Allah may help you. Like, what the heck? Aren't you Allah? And that Allah may help you. Allah asking Allah to help Muhammad. And the funny is, the Muslim, they say the Quran, the Arabic Quran is amazing. And we as you know, actually today I was, I was, uh, I was trying, I, I got a microphone for my phone because some of you complain. I was trying to sample. Let me see if I did not delete it. I was reading the Quran just for myself, you know, just, uh, I think I deleted. Yeah, I deleted. Uh, I, I, I was reading the Quran just for myself, and I was angry. I was dying laughing, actually. You know, like, what the heck is that? <laughs> actually, I think I think I still I can retrieve the delete to that file. But anyway. <laughs> this is a God who is speaking, and then he is who sent down what the heck? Look, look, look. Allah is we, and then Allah is I, and Allah is He. And that Allah may help you. And then He is who sent down the clamness. Are you clear? Calm down. Where we can find God in those statements? Right? How come the people in your Bible they cannot agree with each other? That's very normal, but we agree, my friend. We agree that Jesus is God. But we might not disagree about why we have a picture, but we agree. All the Christians who believe in the gospel, they believe that Jesus is our Lord. We believe in God, the Father, God, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And as long you are saying about how come and who come, I mean, look, look how silly. Look what we are showing them. They try to change the topic, but let me spank you, even though you are trying your best. Look at this idiot. If we go to the Prophet of Islam, he says, the most divided people they are going to be, the Muslims. So how come the Muslims are divided, brother? More than the Christians. <laughs> And if you are a Hindu, I mean, you have a billion religion in your religion. To the point, there is a part of you worshipping, you know, rats as gods. But how come not all the Hindus worshipping God? You know? <laughs> so the prophet said, the Jews were split into 71 or 72 sect. And the Christian, they split into 71, 72 sect. But my community, the hell of my community, what's wrong with them? They split in 73 sect. Do you see it? So go, change your diaper and let your dad speak to me. We don't have time for kids. How come? How come? Hmm. As you see, Muslims, they have no answer. The God of the Islam is really funny. It doesn't exist, obviously. The Quran written in a very awkward, stupid way. The Arabic does not make sense, and that makes the English is more stupid. The English is more stupid than even the Arabic. And to Allah, and he me admit, and to Allah, 
belong everything. Look who's talking Allah. Why don't say to me? To Allah. Hmm? And look, look at this verse. Just an example of the best cartoons. In order that you, between two bracket mankind, I'm so good. Yes, the Muslim, they want to make it clear, mankind, not chicken. You remember. Hmm. May believe in Allah and his messenger, and you assist and honor him, honor Muhammad. Listen to this. Hmm? And you glorify. Wait, 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 wait. Where it says to honor him, Muhammad. It says to support him, but I will let it, you know, like, okay. You know. And then what to waqiru. Actually, yeah, he's right about to waqiru. Mean to honor him, but not to honor, let's say, the, let us say, like you say, uh, show high, uh, uh, high appreciation, high class, you know, make him high class and glorify him, the same person, Muhammad, not Allah. Do you see how the line translation, it says here, and to glorify, and they add the word Allah. In the Quran, there's no Allah. So how you are saying, to glorify Allah, when the Quran never say Allah. It says here, تؤمنوا بالله ورسوله وتعززوه وتوقروه وتسبحوه بكثرة بكرة واصيلة. So here the problem is, in the stupid Arabic, the Muslim, they have to switch the mood because if they continue saying that this is about Muhammad, that's mean to worship Muhammad. In fact, that's what it says. It says, in order for you, mankind, to believe in Allah and his messenger, and to assist him, who, Muhammad, and to honor him, who, Muhammad. And then there is no Allah in the verse, you see, they put it between two brackets. So how we will know that this goes back to Allah? All the description after is coming from Muhammad. So it should be to glorify Muhammad and to praise Muhammad in the morning and afternoon, not to praise Allah. And this is why the city Arabic is very confusing. And the one who wrote the Quran, he don't even have the qualification to be, I mean, it's not even good for, 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 for like five years old kid. To glorify Muhammad, not to glorify Allah. Because the whole verse, the only time the word Allah mentioned is in the beginning of the verse. Here we go. To believe in Allah and his messenger. To assist him. To highly classify him. And to praise him. In the morning and at night or afternoon. Stupid Quran, stupid religion, stupid author. Do we have any Muslim have an objection? Anyone? And by the way, Muslims always, they call themselves by description, they don't own. As an example, a guy from Pakistan, he called himself Palestine. The prophet, he married five, six years old girl. They call him the holy prophet. <laughs> I mean, he's so holy to the point he is desperate to go and have sex with his children. Their God, he never said in a single verse that the Holy Spirit is an angel. The Muslim, they claim it's Jibreel. Why? Because Muhammad in the Hadith says it's Jibreel. Their God, he claimed that the Trinity of the Christians is Mary, Jesus, and Allah. In different verse, the Quran says that Jesus and Allah is one person. This is how the Quran understands the Trinity, which is the God who don't understand even what we believe in, how he can be God. We have, we have a God who he think that the Christian believe that their God, he married from Mary, and they have a son, a baby Jesus. And then this God, because he's so smart, he decided to refute the Christian, and he said to them, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? <clears throat> for sure, this is telling you how 
uh, how low the IQ of the one speaking. I mean, if you could not even understand what is our Trinity, how you can understand anything? Any Muslim today in YouTube, you understand that the Trinity of the Christians is God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. There's no Mary. And there's nowhere in the Quran it says otherwise. It says God, Allah, supposedly, Jesus, and Mary. And not only that, the Quran confirmed that Jesus himself is Allah, according to the Christians. But this is mean there's two persons is gone. The first one is God, the Father. If this is Allah, supposedly, God forbid. And then God, the Son. Because they are, they, the Quran made them one person. So here you notice that the Quran did not understand too that when we speak about the Trinity as one God, we don't mean that God the Father is the same person as God the Son. The silly Muhammad who created this book, he think that we Christian, we believe that God the Father is the same as God the Son. They are one person. And this is in the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 17. They disbelieve those who say that Allah is the Messiah. But we don't, we Christian, let us say, forget about the word Allah. Let us say, replace for the sake of argument. We, we know what Muhammad is talking about. That he meant here by Allah, he is saying God the Father. But we don't believe in Allah, right? The Mung God. So, Christians don't believe that Jesus, Yeshua, is the Father. And we don't believe that the Father is Yeshua. We don't believe in that. Here you see that the one who wrote the Quran, he have a very wrong understanding of a very simple concept of the, for the Christian belief. How that can be God. And not to forget to mention the historic hist the errors, you know, the, the scientific errors. Uh, 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 as an example, uh, the Samaritan who misled the people of Moses. Like, what the heck? How that happened, Muhammad? Huh? What happened? So the those people they were exist in the time of Moses. The historical God, the God who knows everything. Aka Allah. He is so knowledgeable. Let us change the translator so we can make the laugh louder. Let us see where is it. Here we go. The Samarian. <laughs> so Moses, says he go, he go vacation, he come back, he found the Samarian. They are misleading his people. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> uh. <laughs> if you're God, if Jesus is God, why did he only last a few hours in the cross while average time for someone on the cross is three, four days? Look like you are an expert in crucifixion and you've been crucified before. So you know how long you stay in the cross. Well, my friend, the Bible says that they hit him with the arrow in his chest. So you are, you know, silly. They hit him, and if he is not dead yet, he is dead already then. And in the same time, uh, maybe it's a miracle from God, because as you see, when the Messiah was in the cross, there was a darkness in the middle of the day which is the sun, it's still not the middle of the day, but it's still the sun there. But there was a darkness and the earth is shaking. So obviously it's another miracle that Jesus is different in everything. I don't know how long a person he can stay in the cross, uh, but, but I know that Jesus was tortured and he died in the cross. Some people die without torture. Just show them the cross, they will die from heart attack. <laughs> 
if I uh, if I bring you right now and I say I'm good to put nails in your hands and na nails in your feet, before we put the nails, you might die from fear. So you are a silly, stupid person anyway. The important is that your stupid God in the Quran says that nobody can kill Jesus. So how come Jesus cannot be killed, but Muhammad died by poison, and which is a rat poison? As long as you are a person who says how come, well, here we have a bigger how come to you. How come? Allah, he saved Jesus from the cross. He said that if Jesus is God, he should last longer. That is very funny and stupid because it lasts all not. Still, that will make him a human. You are stupid. If you stay for three days, is he going to be God for you? <laughs> this is how silly, desperate they are. But look. You have a prophet who died by poison, rat poison, and the woman, she said to him, he asked her, why you did that? He said, well, because if you are a prophet of Allah, Allah will protect you. If you are an imposter, you would die like a rat. Muhammad, he said, Allah will not allow you. And then he died, as you see, and this is your Muhammad witnessing for that. So how come? And as you see here, your prophet, he lasts for three years. After the poison, your prophet, he lasts for three years. He must be God then. <laughs> I'm using your logic. The one who lasts longer, he should be God. So now Muhammad, he did not last for three days. He lasts for three years. After the poison, must be God. Must be God. For us, my friend, and you Muslims, you confirm that Jesus is alive. So, if you say Jesus can't be God because he died, well, that means Jesus is God in Islam because he did not die. Hypocrite. Hypocrite and low IQ. And here you ask yourself, actually, I mean, seriously, I change any Muslim to give us an answer. Why Allah did not save Muhammad? And as you see, this is horrible. I mean, the guy, he is not suffering for three hours. He's not suffering for two days. He's suffering for years. He's suffering for years. Let me block this angel, stupid woman. Okay. There's some people here, they are coming because they are, they have a mental, you know, they are, uh, they have mental issue like, like Allah and Muakka Muhammad. I mean, aren't you ashamed? You keep flirting, flirting, flirting. Do you have a shame? Do your parent gave you a shame? Do you know what shame is? Go convert to Islam. You will find a lot of Abdul. They will have sex with you second day. Anytime admin, you see this name in the chat, block her immediately. I don't want to see her. If you see her in the comment section, delete her, her comment too. Many of the admin do not know that they have power over the comment in the in the video underneath. What a stupid people. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Based on the logic of the Muhammadan, the one who can last longer if he is God. He can last longer. And this is Negla. But your name is Negla? Uh, you remind me of the Negla seed. Let us go. You know what? His name is Negla. What the heck? Let us go to the Negla. Look at the wisdom of the Prophet. The, the Prophet who died by poison, he said that the Negla seed can fix any illness, any health issue. So why he did not take it? He is dying. The hadith says it clearly, anything except death, will he still alive still? I mean, just take one man, take two, take three. Now we know Muhammad, he loved to do three things, like, you know, always. Negla seed is the remedy for every disease except death. You stupid, is death is a disease? I mean, who taught you Arabic? Is that death is an illness? 
Death is death. We die because of illness, maybe. But death is not an exception from illness because death is not an illness. Death is a description of a person who lost his life. So what? how you can say such a thing? Like I can say, Negla Seed is the, you know, uh, the, the healing or etc. for all kind of illness, including etc. But not death. And as you see, Muhammad himself is dying now, and he is suffering badly. And he obviously practice everything. Who can save Muhammad, save Jesus? You need, need a doctor like Jesus. If Jesus wanted, he would say to him, stand up, Muhammad, you are healed. And I believe, actually, our God, the Lord, the Messiah, is the one who punished Muhammad, and he made him die in a miserable way. Why? The Quran says that if Muhammad is fabricating the word of God, I will cut his artery. Chapter 69, verse number 46. Muhammad, he claimed, and he is the one who fabricated this verse. He claimed and he said that if Muhammad, who, who is talking supposed to Allah? Allah is talking. So he said, this is a revelation sent down from the Lord. Allah is saying he sent down from the Lord. Stupid, I mean, look at this. Of the mankind and the genie, blah, blah, blah. And if Muhammad, he forged a false saying concerning us, us, us. You see us? Us. <laughs> us. Not we. <laughs> us is more horrible than we. Okay. We surely, now we have we. Look, see here we have us. Here, here we have us. Here we have we. The we, uh, the we us God. <laughs> surely we should size him by his right hand. And then we are going to cut off his artery. We go to the hadith, we find exactly this is what happened to Muhammad. Look what he, he himself, I believe that the Lord Messiah, our Lord, he punished Muhammad and he wanted to give us a sign. He made him die like a rat. And he made him admit that he is a liar by saying, I feel as of my orta being cut off. Do you see it? This is the Muslim translation, not our translation. And this is Al-Bukhari, the most authentic book after the Fatih Quran. So Muhammad in hell, and he started his, you know, his trip to hell from here. Look how the wise God Glory to him, expose a liar. When Muhammad, he made that verse saying, if Muhammad is lying, it's claiming that this one who is talking is Allah. If he is lying, we are going to cut his artery. I believe Muhammad, he never imagined that this is how he will die. I believe strongly that Muhammad, when he said that, he never thought for a second. Because look, it says it clearly that if he's lying, if he is a frogging, if he is a, 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 a making a forgery, if he is a false prophet, this is how he will die. And then what Jesus says to him, this is how we do it. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so today we prove many things. We prove that Allah is a scam. Allah is mentally ill. Allah, he will destroy you if you don't commit sin. A clear a proof that Allah is suffering from all those illness symptoms of this illness, mental illness, disease, or whatever you call it. As you see, this is exactly what the God of Islam, he is suffering from. And we can show you more and more and more reference. But this God, obviously, he is really uh, like a Muhammad. He's really mentally ill. Uh, don't worry about my book. Let us take a look at your and love.
You shall we? Yeah, we shall. Why you don't call me? Douglas Eid, why you don't call me so we can laugh? Because you're stupid to the point that you are going to laugh at my book, forgetting that supposedly your God, Allah, is the one who sent my book and he approved it. <laughs> so if my book is laughable, so why your stupid God, he says, confirming and believing in what they, between, between their hands? I mean, who is the stupid here? You or your God? <laughs> if my book is laughable, then how your silly God, he says, well, you know, we send Muhammad, and he is a person who believe in what they have with them now. But you are laughing at it, brother. <laughs> Low IQ. Look at this. And when come to them, messengers are from Allah. I.e. Muhammad, peace be upon him. Confirming what is with them, not was with them. Confirming what is with them. The same chapter, Al-Baqarah, repeating that many times. Chapter 2, verse number 91. Confirming what is with them. What the heck? In truth? In truth? And we have Neglasid is, is laughing at the Bible? And Muhammad is not? What's wrong with Allah? Look like Allah, he was taking Neglasid too. <laughs> I think this is what happened. Allah, he noticed that he is a sleeping walker or he walk, walk, walk sleeper, what they call him. Then he decided to be healed. So he took necklace seed. And since then, things is messed up. <laughs> so the Muhammad and they were in love about our book and their stupid book confirming our book. And not only that, our book, which is lovable, and this is our guidance, is going to be the answer for Muhammad. So Allah, he said to Muhammad, if you have a doubt about what we sent to thee, go and ask Christian Prince. <laughs> Chapter 10, verse number 94. So according to the stupid Muhammad, if you, Muhammad, have any doubt concerning which we have revealed unto you, i.e., and look, by the way, they add things here. Your name is written in the Torah. This is what it says there. <laughs> Change the translator. <laughs> what a fraud. What a fraud, sons of Muta. Let us change the translator. We will see the whole translation change. Look at this. There is no your name written. What the heck is that? So, if you have a doubt in what we have revealed to you, ask those who read the scriptures before you. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Bat Rahman, he admitted that my book, okay, let me see what Bat, as long as you take Bat, Bat Rahman or Borat as a witness for the truth, okay, that's your fault, not my fault. Let us see what he said. This guy, he said that the Messiah was crucified. That's mean Muhammad. Listen, you are the one who take him as a witness for the truth. So now you cannot bite your tongue or you cannot practice what your prophet says, bite the penis of your father and say, I don't accept Bart Rahman. Either he is a scholar for you or he is not. So look what happened. And by the way, you're a liar. This is Borat Rahman. Let us go. And see what Borat he said. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't because he not here, makes not here, not here, not here. If this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we. <laughs> Your God is a stupid God. He claimed that the book have no contradiction. It must be from God. Uh, that's my book, Deception of Allah. Quran and science, sect and Allah, have zero contradiction. I must be God too. Even the yellow pages have no contradiction, but the Quran is full of them. But let us continue. Look what the Borat, he said about your stupid Quran. He said it clearly that Allah and Muhammad are a bunch of liars because Jesus, he died. Not only that, actually, he insults Mimi Hijab and he says that 
Jesus, he thought that he is the Messiah, which means your prophet is a liar when he said he is the Messiah. He said, Jesus, he thought that he is the Messiah, the Son of God. That's mean he had this Borat, he admit that the true teaching of Jesus is that he is the Messiah and he is Son of God. Listen and love. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought so he was crucified and he was really dead and buried and he's laughing. And Mimi Hijab like a puppy, shaking his head like a mule. Because this guy he just said to him, Your prophet is a scam, and the Messiah was crucified. And what what else? Listen. He thought that he was a son of God in the sense He thought he is a son of God. The Messiah. He thought he is a son of God. So you Muslim, you lie when you say that our Bible is corrupt because this is what Jesus taught us. He is the son of God. Listen carefully again. And look, Mimi Hijab, like a donkey, he's shaking his head. That he was a son of God in the sense that he... No, 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 just listen again. I like it, I like it, I love it. <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah. If you... So did you hear? He thought he is going to be the Messiah. <laughs> and the stupid Mimi Hijab is shaking his head like a donkey arm. Um, yeah. But all what he's saying is an insult to Islam. So they brought an atheist who hated Christianity to bash Christianity, but it backfired on them. That's why we have it in the intro. Did you ask yourself why we have him there? Did you ask yourself for the sake of the sin of Allah? The shoes of Allah, the panty of Allah. Why we have this guy with Mimi Hijab in every video? It's our best comedy. He got you busted. He gave you a finger, all of you Muslims, in your biggest channel in YouTube, saying to you that your Muhammad is a liar, Jesus was a crucified, and Jesus, he told that he is a son of God, and he is thinking he is the Messiah, which means your prophet is a liar. And yes, Christianity, the true Christianity is the teaching of Jesus. He said he is son of God, and he thought that, and he died, and he really was buried, and he crucified. What is left of Islam? Nothing. And you are asking me about this guy? What a mentalness. And look at this guy. He lost his teeth like your prophet. And I don't know how Muhammad even he can recite the Quran. A person, he have no teeth. How he can recite his Quran? You know that they did beat Muhammad, right? And he lost his teeth. So, like, if, if, you, if you take off one day, maybe you'll get older. Uh, but now, like today, they, they put for you a fake teeth, right? I remember when I was a kid, my grandfather, he, like, after lunch, he go to the mirror, and he move his mouth, like, oh, you know, and then his teeth come out. Like, I said, what the heck is that? This is a story of my mom, she told me, I don't remember. Uh, she came, she found me, I have a little chair. I stood in it, in the front of the mirror, and I was moving my mouth left and right, trying to take off my teeth. Nothing is coming out. I did all the tricks, and nothing is coming out. So when you lose your teeth like Muhammad, how you can recite the Quran? So you brought somebody, he lost his teeth. Even the Muslim, they hire him, they gave him a job in the Emirate. Gave him high salary hoping that he can teach Muslims how to attack Christianity. And you fail miserably. Because all his attack in Christianity, in fact, it's against Islam. So mental illness, low IQ, is the flag of Muhammad. Isn't it true? Uh, we have a person, his name encoder. What the encoder want to say? I don't see him. Why you don't call us encoder? Maybe you can help and encode the Quran. Ah, hold, 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 hold. <clears throat> this encoder is so, so deep. Encoder, are you sent here? by a super superior powerful Allah or this is like your own answer Allah did not preserve the other books because he had to send down 
the final look 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 at this guys he had to what kind of god he had to <laughs> is that your word he had he had to send <laughs> so you stupid you idiot if allah of those books are not going to preserve anyway so what's the point of sending him secondly if he is going to send the Quran, a final word of God, why is he sending it from the beginning? <laughs> In the same time, when you say he had to send, that's mean he had no choice. <laughs> that's mean he's not God. In the top of that, you are saying to me, Allah did not preserve that he's mean that he is the one who didn't change the books. Because if you did not preserve them, that's mean your intention is not to preserve them. So your God is Satan. Are you the cousin of Neglasid? I think you took too much Neglasid before you made this comment, didn't you? So guys, Allah did not preserve the other books because he had to send down the final scriptures. So they admitted that it is their God. He himself, he made a decision. I'm not going to preserve it. Let it go. So it's not our fault. The one who sent the book, he owned the book. It is the fault of Allah if you don't preserve his books. So Allah, he sent 124,000 book. And he decided to preserve one. And then we find that the one he have is missing. Because where is the book of your prophet? As I know that there is a goat, she ate tons of verses from the Quran. And I challenge you to recite for us right now, or you can type it down. The verses of a breastfeeding, the tits, the tits verses. Hmm? The text verses. Can who who is a Muslim can recite for us or can type for us the text verses? If I was in the time of the Prophet, I would be the first one to go to visit Aisha, and I would say to her, "Suckle me. I'm thirsty." The verse of stoning and tits feeding. An adult 10 time. Look how generous Muhammad is. Look how generous Allah, not only once, they will feed you, brother, 10 time. You are thirsty. Is it hot? 10 time. 10 time. It was in a paper, and then a goat she come inside the house while Muhammad is dead. She flipped Muhammad from the couch. She flipped the pillow under the head of Muhammad, and then she started licking the pages, and she opened the pages where it says a stone to death and the breastfeeding. Look, this, this goat, she is educated. She knows how to read. I mean, from the whole book, how this uh, goat, she chose those two verses or chapters. They were yummy, isn't they? Huh? So look, this goat, she said to herself, huh, there's a competition here. Those men are not going to do anything to my breast no more. She's a goat. She'll get jealous. Put yourself in her shoes. So she decided to eat specifically the breastfeed of a goat. <laughs> if you ask me for my opinion, I believe the one who ate the Quran is the Muslims, not the goat. You a Muslim, you get ashamed of this. So you decide to delete it. <laughs> because even if the goat, she ate the Quran. Don't you Muslim, you claim that you memorize it? So the goat, she ate the papers. Did she eat your memory too? Did she? Ah, uh. uh, yeah, Jesus is special. He made them the Messiah. Guys, Jesus is a special. He made them the Messiah. <laughs> Listen, listen, Jesus is a special. He made him the Messiah. I bet you he do not know even what the Messiah means. Do you know what the Messiah? Guys, he made him the Messiah. Because Jesus, brother, in the beginning, he was not really a Messiah. Then he, Allah, he gave him, he said to him, now you are a sergeant, I will make you later Messiah, okay? <laughs> I love the Chinese when they said he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. 
I wasn't sure they are talking about you, but you know what I'm saying. I'm really he made him the Messiah, really? I mean, that's deep. He wasn't the Messiah. They made him the Messiah. Is in the Quran says, "I will send to you the, my word, and which is going, to, which is the Messiah." <laughs> His name is the Messiah. He's stupid, stupid people. I mean, ah, uh, garbage in, garbage out. What you can say? You know what? In the recycle business, garbage in, not garbage out. In Islam, garbage in, garbage out. You cannot recycle it, and you cannot fix it. And if you try to fix it, you will make it blind. And this is the story of Muhammad. Thank you very much for being here. I will try tomorrow to come in online. Watch our videos, download them, subscribe, join Patreon, because YouTube is not giving notification. That's why the view is not too much high. And I do not know really sometime where I'm going to go live, depending on my timing. So join Patreon. If you'd like to join us, it's for free. You do not need, don't spend any money. You will be receiving email to find you that we will go live thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and we are the followers of the living messiah and they are followers of the black stone kisser the dead muhammad who the hadith says that his belly was full of fart when he died and he stink so ibn abbas he said bury your friend he stink like a human they stink after death this is what happened to Muhammad, a stinky man. He was stinking his life. He was stinking his death. We are the Christians. We are the followers of the living, talking, living word, walking word of God. That is the Messiah. For God himself, he came to this earth. And he become a man. And he showed us the glory of God, yet in the flesh of a man. So we can glorify him. And we can see him. He humbled himself. He washed our feet. That is God. Our God is love. Your God is mentally ill. And this video proved in every second of it the mental illness of Allah. Who he said, if you don't commit sin, I will destroy you. If you don't commit sin, I will clear that is proof that Allah must be the devil. Only the devil he wanted to commit sin. Only the devil, devil will be happy when mankind commits sin. If you don't commit sin, my friend, Allah will destroy you. Why he will do so? For he is the devil. For he is Satan. And if Satan is your Lord, what you expect? What you expect? Thank you, God bless you, and see you soon again. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 